Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And we've got a Pioneer League deck dump today. 31 decks, which is, I think, the highest we've seen in a little while. So uh, let's take a look and see what has appeared. First off, we've got Miguel Castor with a Yorion-fueled Mono White Devotion deck. Uh, this is the one splashing blue for Teferi and Reflector Mage. I think are the two blue cards. So yeah, Yorion Mono, mono White Splash Blue Devotion. Curve Eigenhay. I'm sure that second half of that means something. And this is the Red White Heroic deck that has started showing up with Lurus. Um, basically took the shell of the Feather deck, took some hints from the old Heroic decks of Theros Standard Past, uh, added Lurus, and off it goes. 10th uh, District Legionnaire is a house in this deck. And it's not... Uh, there's the fight is one. I was going to say, it's not playing the new uh, Ikoria card, but there it is on the side. Benny Hills gets a 5-0 with a Yorion... Bant Control List. Pretty straightforward there. For Omen, to Elspeth Conquers Death. Grandera with a Gyruda combo deck. We've got all the clones. Pretty much all the clones. Vizier. Thought Knot's an exception here, but that's a nice thing to uh, fall into. Two Kologons for the haste. And off it goes. Matakai with a Lurus fueled uh, Rally of the Ancestors deck. Uh, this, I think Black White Rally. Oh no, it's Obzon. Yep, Obzon Rally. Fiend Artisan is a house in this deck. Alsad gets a 5 0 with Yorion Winota. That's kind of cool. Have not seen this yet. Uh, so this is Jeskai. Of course, Agent of Treachery playing the big role here. Cloud Blizzard. Oh, this looks like fun, to be honest. Lavinia of the Tenth. Wow. Chain of the Rocks, which is a great little removal spell when you can run it. Cool, cool. I like it. A little spice there. Nice list outside. I appreciate seeing stuff like this. Harry 13 gets a 5 0 with a Yorion build of Demir Inverter. Uh, I've been seeing this a little more lately. Uh, Demir Inverter was one of the two main holdouts with Lotus, uh, you know, Lotus Breach in not running a companion, but definitely starting to see the Yorion lists. Uh, from what I understand, if you get Inverter and Thassa's Oracle in play but don't win, if you then cast Yorion to blink both of them, that's an auto win. I think that's how that works. So it's a, it's a good it's a good add there. Curtis Axel gets a 5-0 with uh, Sultai. Is this Sultai? No, this isn't Delirium. It's a Sultai list. It's just a Sultai list. Sultai mid-range. About the fairest thing I've seen in a while, I think. Kalidus is... Exile's strong right now because of Loris, and Kalidus is very good at that. Jose Cabezas with a Zerda... Uh, not... F I guess it's Heliod Ballista combo deck. Yeah, the, the green-white Coco deck. With Zerda driving it. Scavenge News is good right now. Shall I? Splendor Mare. Just, it's got cycling, you know? Sometimes the lifelink is useful as well. Joke SDK. Joe K SDK. I used to document SDKs for a job. I wonder if this guy is a programmer. Anyway, uh, they are playing a an Obosh. Gruel deck with Clothis 
and all your odd CMC hits. Yorvo, Steel Leaf Champion. Slaughterhorn is a great one. I like the Blood Rush. Ronus. Clothis. Yeah, this is good deck. Good deck. Uh, Poen is playing a Lurus Fueled Rally the Ancestors deck. Excuse me. Um, I'm not going to go back and find the first list and compare what's different between the two, but I'm going going to guess it's Garrison Cat is the heart of it. it. Says a little bit more on the and I don't remember Priest in the prior list either. Could have been there. Cometa 183 with a Gigantha Bant Spirits deck. Pretty free include, I think, in this list. I don't think there was anything with double uh, mana cost in the traditional Bant Spirit list. But Spirits had kind of left the metagame for a while. Mike Souls with Lurus Orzov Auras. He won the lottery and got his list in this time. This, this is definitely a popular deck. Parrot gets a 5-0 with a Lurus-based Hardened Scales list. Two Stone Coil Serpents, two Ozoliths. This is the green black version, I believe. Yeah. Thoughtseize Main. Scavenging Ooze and Graph Digger's Cage in the background. Barrier Breach. Exile up to three enchantments. That's kind of cool. Has cycling as well. Nice. Krebrovic with a Yorion fueled Doom Foretold enchantment deck. This is. This looks painful to play against, I'll be honest. Getting into the trials and four murderous rider are the only uh, creatures, but then you've got Starfield here, and it's going to turn. I guess the idea here is to turn all your enchantments into creatures and kill them that way. Yeah. They were messing around with a deck like this on the um, the Dive Down podcast. I don't recall if they ever got a 5-0 with it, though. So somebody took the idea and did something with it. Lawton SS with a Yorion Demir Inverter deck. As I mentioned, here we go. Now... The best or second best deck in the format is start is on the companion train. Just a matter of time. WTNOF with a Yorion Jeskai Walkers deck, I think. It fires, yeah, Jeskai fires with Yorion. Uh, only creatures are Fae of Wishes. And lots of enchantments that love to be blinked. AJV20 with a Gigantha fueled Jeskai Ascendancy deck. Interesting. Haven't seen Jeskai Ascendancy in a while. Huh. Cool. Yeah, here's another combo deck for you to take check out. Bud U91 with a Yorion fueled uh, Sultai, uh, Sultai de uh, Delirium. Sorry, the word was escaping me. Uh, yeah, Sultai Delirium with all your nice hits. Emrakul in the main, a couple of Atrus, Ishkana, Gonti. I love Gonti, love that card. Three mystical disputes in the side because you have to. Scarab got in the side. Kalidus in the side. Nice. Silent SN with another Yorion deck. It uh, Yorion feels like it's taken over for Lurus now. I, I haven't run the numbers in this league to know, but uh, I'm seeing a lot of Yorion here. This is what is this? This is a just another Jeskai Fires deck. Uh, this is four, four color fires. Yep. Everything but green. And I'm wondering if you can get green out of any of these lands. No. 
So you're not going to be able to do the uh, put counters on things with Kenrith, but I think that's the least use of, it, of its abilities. Scotty Loot gets a 5-0 with... Uh, yeah, is this Simic Ramp? Yeah, Simic Ramp deck. New roulettes. Uh, no crisis. No hydro crisis. A little unusual. Three Ugin's main. Tommy Cakes with a Lurus burn. Uh, is this burn? Yeah, this is a burn deck. Sometimes the, the line between burn and prowess gets a little fuzzy, but yeah, this is burn. WL Sack with. Uh, Yorion fueled. This is Yorion Saltite. Uh, this is not Saltite. This is Obzon Traverse. So Obzon Delirium with Yorion. Grizzly Salvage, the new Vivian. I've been playing the new Vivian in standard. I like that. I like that card. Three Siege Rhinos. Fun stuff. The blue side of life gets a 5-0 with a Zerda-based uh, blue-white control list, two Shark Typhoons, a bunch of Planeswalkers, four Wrath, four Sweepers. Yep, blue-white control. Showtime with Mono Red with Obosh. And a whole bunch of one and three drops, as you would expect. No fives, except for Obosh itself. Osodan with a Yorion Niv Mizzet Bring to Light deck. And what kind of goodies do we have? We have a Siege Rhino. I'm all for that. We have an Atris. Grazer is interesting. Uh, Slaughter Games main. Traverse the Uvenwald. Okay. I'm listening. Oath of Ki Trial of Ambition. That's good. Yeah, if you're going to blink that with Yorion, that can be really good. Okay. I'm on board. 20 creatures is a little low for me in an 80 card deck, but that's my style more than what the deck demands. Silumgar's Command on the side. Interesting. Voice of Resurgence. Combo. Eh, good stuff. Nolan Sanity. With a... There's no companion here. This is... Where are we at? Mardu something or other. Mardu Mid. This is just Mardu Mid range. Three Kunaros Main. Stops Lurus. Stops Escape. So your Uros aren't coming back from the graveyard. Tough to deal with in combat. Hmm. All right. I can see it. Cool list. Three Gideon, Gideon Ally. Gideon Ally of Zendikar. That was a house. That card is a house. Hasn't been played that much. Gideon of the Trials has been more popular mostly because of the, the emblem clause. Sunbird 17 with Lotus Breach. And this one generally cannot run a companion. I did see a Lurus version of the deck in, I believe it was the Pione one of the Pioneer Challenges over the weekend. It can't run Vizier of the Tumbling Sands when you've got Lurus as your companion. But it posted a decent finish in that event. So... We'll see if that becomes a development, but I have a feeling that the Vizier is too important to the deck to make that a regular occurrence. Unique gets a 5-0 with a Yorion-fueled... Are we Bant or are we just Simic? I, this is a Simic list. Simic... Just Simic stuff. Simic ramp. Yeah, just a different version of Simic Ramp than what we saw earlier. 
Different threat package. Woodland Bellower is kind of cool. Non-legendary green creature card, CMC 5 or less. That's your Wayfinder, your Rejuvenator, or your Grazer. So it's got some targets that are useful, definitely. Bow of Nylea. Haven't seen that in a while. Lot and SS is back. This is the second list in this dump. And this time it's Mono White. Uh, Mono White Karn with Yorion. And again, it's Splashing Blue for Teferi and Reflector Mage. But this is a Mono White Devotion deck. Trying to win with Heliod Walking Ballista and doing a whole bunch of enchantment-based removal to stop your stuff. Albert62 with our last list of the dump, and he's got a Lurus Fueled... Uh, is this black-green? Or No, we are Sultai. Uh, it's just kind of a Sultai mid... As much mid-range as you can be when you don't have anything beyond a 2-drop. Uh, yeah, Sultai mid. Sultai, maybe even control? Eh, nah, control's a bit of a stretch. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, definitely an uptick in Yorion and a little bit of a downtick in Loris, it looks like. Have to run the numbers and see where everything shakes out. But, uh, yeah, it's a companion world, and we're just trying to live in it and survive. Stay safe out there, have fun. And if you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. And tomorrow we will be back looking at a modern deck dump. Uh, it might be late in the day. I've got kind of a busy day at work tomorrow. So we'll see how the schedule wraps out. Those videos tend to be a little long. So we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.